So, back when we started the solar thing, we initially used full 2x4 frames to hold the solar panels. As you can see, we have a, uh, for the solar side, there's a 2x4 down there, and three 2x4s in the middle, and a 2x4 at the top. And also, that was attached with hinges, door hinges, to a, another 2x4 frame <laughs> made up of four 2x4s here and of course a little cross section to, to keep things straight and we would have these two boards here to hold them up <clears throat> progressing forward we uh, got a little bit a little bit smarter and uh, decided to make things a bit easier at least as far as I'm concerned if you can see that yes that that's a landscape timber so no more hinges, no more bottom frame. We still got the three 2x4s holding up the panels as well as the 2x4 at the top. And of course with these large panels we have three 2x4s to hold up the angle. And to keep it from falling back you'll notice that cable. We used auger anchors to secure that to the ground make sure nothing um, the wind cannot just blow it forward and of course obviously I guess these worked fine but these larger panels of course are harder to lift so let's go and see the resolution that we determined for the newer panels and here again is another example of the older style with the bottom frames with more panels newest development <coughs> we've gotten rid of a lot of lumber here you can see that landscape timbers a landscape timber attached with a piece of angle aluminum right there and we just happen to have square headed bolts uh, nuts there so, three screws, three screws on the bottom there. Kind of hard to see with that contrast of light. But, uh, three screws on the bottom. There is one. Right in the middle there. And there's another one. So, that's attached to the frame itself. So, we just drilled some holes in the frame. Landscape timbers attached to the solar panels directly because they are not together they are much easier to lift and of course no two by fours no vertically oriented two by fours in between the panels or on the sides of the panels just one two by four attached to the panel to hold it up to have something to hold up against and one board for the angle itself to hold the panel up during the winter season that is to say So, and we still have the same method using the wire here to keep them from falling back. Same anchor method. So we just reduce the, the amount of lumber needed. And, of course, because there's only one panel per, <laughs> it's a lot easier to lift one panel than it is to try to lift two of them in addition to the three more pieces of 2 by 4 So that was our solution to that. This is the latest development as far as having them on the ground. Uh, it seems to be working well so far. So hopefully this will make things easier if you're considering something simple and quick as far as solar panels on the ground. Thank you for watching.